The Confounding Calendar, a free online advent calendar of games. There have been a lot of new games on here, including one of my own, which I don't, I'm not doing in this video because I like teasing people. But some of these are cursed block pushing games, like this one. I, re I already recognize the art style of it. And I really need to add more entries onto this playlist. Oh no, wrong room. What makes this room so wrong? Is someone playing Snake in here? Oh no. Wrong room. Is this what the snake protagonist is? And also, am I gonna have to worry that I didn't go in the room the correct way and should have, like, taken a different path at the very beginning? So... I don't know, like, it, it actually seems really, really simple so far. Okay, you can push two at once. Well, now you're st I need to restart, don't I? And yeah, I can go down there instead. So it seems like the idea is that I don't stick that to the wall. There you go. This reminds me of Magic Cube. Just the playing as a one-by-one -one character to be able to make that sort of jump. Okay. I did do a series on Magic Cube, by the way. Anyway, so... Where am I going? Why is there this room? When it seems like... I can't even reach my own path here. Something is very weird about, like, why is the path curving like this? Hmm. I can have something on my head. Whoa! <laughs> uh, very cool. I'm back here, but... It's not like I land in a great spot. Wow, that is incredible. Something I kind of feel like, though... That even if I put the... Even if it went here at the very start, I wouldn't be able to go up and, like, connect back. So, am I... What am I doing? There's not many options. It feels like... Like, I could die here and it would just... You know, I, would, I couldn't be able to do anything there. And what if I die standing on a box or something? Like, I don't know if the, I, I should have done something different in the early game. I can also... Go in boxes? Hmm. But, but I wasn't able to, like, get in there. I'll do the same actions with this just in case, but I don't think it's gonna matter. <sighs> this is so weird. Like, I, I really think that's the only way forward. And yeah, we don't get any special thing, like, connecting up there at all. Hold on, can I... Nice. <laughs> I don't know! No, no, no! No. No. <laughs> Even from this position, it doesn't seem like it's possible to get, to get crushed again. What the? What the? Okay, 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 that's the thing. Huh, okay, okay. That was- that's a very important thing. But- but where do I come out? I can do that. No, I-, I it's hitting my own tail. Hmm. So this gives us access to in here again. If that's even a good thing. Well, hold on, I can do that and connect- Look at that. Well, looks like I don't need the top after all, do I? Very nice, okay. I expected to use a lot more of the top than I did, but that was great. Of course, in Magic Cube, <laughs> you would just die if you try to get crushed by a block, but yeah. That was oh no, wrong room. So, quick, hide somewhere. Press X to see connection? What is that? Oh no! So, <laughs> and... Oh gosh! Wait, what, what is that? So that, that thing on the ground is just the background tile? It looks like a full block, but it really isn't. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna switch to a different game real quick to, to see what this block pushing is actually supposed to look like. Simple block squishing game. I don't know, it looks normal so far. Yeah, okay, I can do that. What is that? Alright, who ported Squishcraft to Puzzle Script? <laughs> Alright, let's just put this in. And now we need to squish them vertically. <laughs> we don't have space to do this, do we? I guess we do. Okay, it doesn't multi-push. In Squishcraft, it would multi-push. Uh, it, 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 it needs to it'll hit a wall. Nice. Thank you for that. All right, now that we've seen that definitely not cursed variation of this kind of game, you can see that this is not a block anymore and is in fact this thing. So I don't even know what a connection exactly is supposed to look like. Maybe like, because all of them seem to have two endpoints. Oh, this has four endpoints. Our player kicker has four endpoints. So I don't know. Mm. <laughs> so we have some drawings on the floor of what the targets were. Uh, right, hold on. We we don't want the, any of the stuff stuck to the wall, I think. So maybe we have to be very careful with our first uh, 
moves here. Hmm. Okay, that can move there. It looks like it's gonna get stuck to the wall if it wasn't already stuck already. Hmm. Okay, so I got them split, but at what cost? Like, does that count as the connection? I think it would. Okay, so after messing around uh, for a while, in fact, the goal of the game is not to make connections. It's the title quick hide somewhere. I don't know. To me, the game makes you think that you need to connect all the red lines, but it's not, in fact, the goal. The goal is about hiding, and that immediately gives me an idea. So, if you look at this situation, doesn't our legs kind of look like the top of one of those targets? I think that's what's meant by hiding. We can arrange the level in a way where it seems like the player doesn't exist like that, which is a very cursed idea. I might need to get the head of that to merge with the top of my head. That means we need to get this piece out, which is annoying. Uh, it's going to be annoying, probably. We're going to need to like use the rigidity, the rigidity of these objects to hook onto. We'll first get those out of the way. Mm, I don't like if that's stuck. But, but like, I, I see that I can do this. Pull, if, like, if I pull it here, which, which will need a specific position to do so, by the way. I'm using my crotch to move that one over. Slot it in there. All right, hold on. First, I think I need to get this B-ish piece out first. <sighs> but there's so little space to do it. It's, I can stuff this piece down here, and that actually saves a lot of space. Because I know I can get it back later. Now, for this, I don't know if I can even fit here and, and go to the right at all. Oh, hold on. I can still can I can push this down more than I think. Yeah. Okay, so I can still rescue this one. So therefore all I need to do now. Put my head in here. Put this down. Okay. Now what I've seen is I can do that and push this. Okay, okay, I rescue that piece from the wall. Very good. Now maybe that piece is the one I need for here. Um Yes, okay, they're all off the wall now, which is very good. Now I need this stuff off, and then we'll be close to done. Okay. Hmm. So I assume by the end that everything will look, because it's literally in the hint text, that everything will look normal by the end. However, I don't think they'll stay in their original positions. They just have to look like an original, like a normal Sokoban position. Like, okay, I can get this horizontal bar out of there. But of course, what we really need is this, this thing to help and pull this down. Hmm, and then what connects after that? I think it must be this piece that we shove in there, but then what? Is it the horizontal bar? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the pieces are down. Um, now we just need to arrange them. Fix this mess and then arrange it to look like a normal block pushing game position. Well, there's still a crap stain on the wall, which probably means we have to put like that probably is our ending position in a way. Because we just put the hat here and the line there. We're also gonna need to get this thing out of here. And I hope I didn't ruin anything by having it stuck in here. Okay, we need to untangle this mess first though. Move it all the way down as long as long as we can still rescue it. Okay, so we pull pull that to the left. That corresponds to what? Hmm. Like, I remember, of course, that it was on the wall before, but I'm not sure that is where the, our, our actual ending position is. If I ever regret that, I guess I'm just gonna undo. <laughs> I also need to choose where this goes. Like, it could also go here. That might also make sense if the thing is, if we're disguising in part of here. All right, to get this off, we just need to do this and that, and now this is off. Okay. And does that piece go back kind of where the original was? Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna need to safe keep this piece though if I want to do that. I think I'll put it there. Now that goes there. So I'm just kind of checking if it looks like a box or not. It does. So now we'll move this down. So if I imagine this right, the horizontal line right there will go inside here. Just gonna do this uh, here and here. Okay, now this horizontal line is out, and I can push it in. Okay. So now, you can see this looks fully like it, it was a target and a box on the target. So now we just need that cap on top of ourselves, as well as this to move in here. Okay. Right, let's see if I can put this cap on ourselves. Which I think will also require this to move a little to the left. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, hmm, I can't fit through here. Like, this entire situation would be fine if this if we were on the right side and we had the cap on. I also screwed up earlier on, and I have to undo back to not get this accidentally stuck. Hmm, can I recover this with my arm? Oh, I can. Okay, okay, that, 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 that resolves everything, really. 
Okay, so now we just need to get this piece right. Now push everything down. Now <laughs> fit this in here. Okay. There, it looks like a box again. Now with this, use my arm to move this up. And now, <laughs> congratulations, that's a good hiding spot. Thanks, Leaving Leaves. Nightly block pushing game. So, what is this? We move like a knight, that's the joke. <laughs> nice. And, and it works from this starting position? Wow. Hmm. So we can also, of course, go outside the grid with this one. We go down here. Oh, but wow. Okay, so if it can't... The, the knight's push would go over here, which is a box already. So instead, it just moves it semi-normally when you do that. Whoa, okay. If I do... If I push right and then down, it moves both boxes. But somehow that's not the way it works when you push up and then right from here. So I guess the boxes might not be able to phase through the walls. Hmm. Well, let's try to get to that position down there. Nice knight moves here. Nope. Okay. Alright, so now... What do you mean I can't move left and then down? But I can move left and up. Why? Because this space is... Whatever, game. Can we, put, can we put that block in the trash or something? I can still rescue with that move, so... Now is it just possible for me to go in here and move up? Please. Okay. Now. So it seems like it does, in fact, have like a logic to where the blocks go up for pushing. But okay, now we do this. Rescue this block. Am I getting used to these controls? Huh. I'm gonna go here. Up there. That's fine. There we go. Congratulations. Puzzling word ladder. This, and this is the whole page, by the way. It's a bunch of almost crossword clues, all about puzzle games. I'm not sure I know all of these. I mean, is this, I don't know if it's going to confirm is correct. So, roll. Okay, that confirmed is correct. Okay, good, good. Um, the chicken mark doesn't go away. So, how to cook a sausage roll, because that's one of the puzzle games. Oh, well, you should know of it if you don't. I don't think I'm going to show every game, though, like Golden, because there's a game called The Case of the Golden Idol. Uh, a good snowman is hard to build. Um, let's see. Bonfire. Perfect kindling for a bonfire peak. No? Hmm. Fire. No. Also, this gold good is very suspicious. It makes me feel like I'm mid-purple dotting, aka changing one letter. Let's see. Cross? Work? No. Wait, that actually worked! Oh! Proceeds, Ellie. Okay. For word. Uh-huh. It's not just a snake, it's a reference to snake bird. Miss protagonist is I know about mist. I don't... Bird. Bob is one of a what? Bob is one of a kind? Baba definitely got duplicated in many... <laughs> Mine, though. Mine? No. Line. Line. It's a, this is a line drawing game. To eat. Dine. I'm not sure what that reference is. Hmm. Hmm. Done? Oh, kind. This is Kine, which is an this is a puzzle game you probably have not heard of, but it's a puzzle game about instruments. It's still a really shockingly unknown game. Anyway, I played one on TV. That's Roll. Hole? Probably okay, no. Soko maybe? Oh my gosh, that's correct. So step on these. Soul? Huh. And then myself and I. Solo. Alright. So use 800 to avoid. So some of these aren't based on puzzle games, I think. Not this one, anyway. Use 800 to avoid. This looks like told. This is the initials of <laughs> told right here. And toll. Okay. 20th century what court? I don't know. Wood, is it? Okay. I think it was... It's OOD. Mood? No. It's the lewd court. Oh, it's food. Oh my gosh. Was... <laughs> Alright, and now... This leaves only the last one. Uh, we, we can... Force the first letter. It's not gonna be Dino. Din. Okay, there we go. That is an Ober Din. Re oh my gosh! Return to the Ober Din. That is only clued by like a single word from the title, arguably. But anyway, yeah, puzzling word ladder. There you go. How does leaving leaves come with all these cursed variants? Sticky block pushing game. Wow, very sticky. I can do that, but but I get stuck to the wall if I do that. I wonder if there's an extra trick. 
because I feel like I've experimented with the sticky mechanic before. I just reset there, by the way. I mean, definitely it's funny that, like, you can do that. Usually it's a bug when you pro if you program sticky objects that that happens. But I, that's probably just part of the design now. Hmm. I keep getting to the step, and it's, it's kind of a joke step. But it seems like the, the top right one is the harder one to make work. Can I ever make it go to the left? This block ever go to the left now? Mm. That this detachment is not working. You know, I've been. I wonder if there's an additional trick because I've been fiddling this for about two minutes and I don't don't have it. How about like here? And you can do that. Oh, wait, this might be it. Hold on. No, that that, that looked really good, didn't it? Yes. Okay. There we go. Congratulations. Escape from Soko House. This is by the same maker of Cheese Banquet Advanced, which I played and did a video on last, last Puzzle Jam. So, okay, so what I'm playing is this. And put that there, and oh, is this a wire game? Of course. So that, uh, I, so now I save this page as a bookmark. Um, so I can push this box. There's another block. Is, is, what are we doing? Are we like holding a, an area open or something? I'm not sure that's the idea. Okay, it, it doesn't seem like it's a mechanic though to, to hold a block open. I don't know why it's like there's these suspicious gaps in the wires though. Like this, this just leads to nothing. But it feels like it should lead to something. Wait, pressing space makes that sound? Wh what the? What gloves? These gloves are so heavy. Eh? <laughs> Hidden mechanics. Okay, so that means if I do that, then uh, what What I just did with there, um, I'm doing undo there. I take the gloves from the, the top of the box. Because I guess I can't drop the gloves anywhere else. Freaking irrational player characters. And of course, I've held that block. I hold, I've held that door open using a box. And now I can put the gloves on here, which is unlock the walls here. Um... I don't know what this thing is. I don't know why I can't interact with this object when it feels like I should be able to do something here. Also, when I take the gloves and then stand on it myself, it also activates the power. It's so weird because these really look like they're, they sh there's something that sh looks like it should be bridging the gap. But nothing's working. Is there a multi-push? Oh, so there, I guess there is a multi-push and I can bring both blocks out. Ah. Uh, hmm. So I've, I've blocked one of the walls off of the box. Let's see if that changed anything. What? Okay, well, that's annoying. A little annoying because it isn't... Like, that box was not pushable. So I guess the rule must be that it can't... It's not pushable if it's powered. Huh. I mean, okay. I don't know. I kind of just wish there was a little more pointing to that. I don't know. But here, this opens this door back. I can't even bring a box back through it. I think this was the wrong choice. Or I need to open this differently. Okay, I need to do that. There we go. So the reason that's open is, of course, the fact that I am the one standing on here. The order matters as well. If I do this, then it doesn't... It's not going to work because the whole point is that this, as well as being not pushable when it's powered, it's also filling in the gap between the wires. So I do that and that can bring it through. Okay. Now, once again, this fills in the gap between the wires. You can see those. Well, I hope you should see those, or I have to blow up the contrast of the screen. Okay, let's let's put that in here. So, turning this on, I can also turn it on with a block. There is another. Is that our goal? It looks like our end goal. Why can't we push it in? Hmm. Well, we got a bunch of boxes here. Those are very much stuck to the wall. There's a, there's a suspicious upper area that we never touched. I can, of course, use a block here and then get my gloves back. But that sacrifices this block permanently. A sword. Okay, that's not our end goal. It's a, oh, hmm. Uh, did I did I just get rid of the glove block? That doesn't seem like a good idea. But okay, I can I can delete all those, but not that block though. Hmm. And how does this help? Like we can't break a wall at the top or anything. So I'm un I'm gonna undo those. Hmm. Okay, I can do that without sacrificing the gloves, which is good. But I'm gonna have to do what I think. Okay, this is actually cool. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, nice. The blocks look like completely useless, but it turns out you actually have to use the sword to get this out. Now, I, mean, I, I, I want to power something, so I do that. But this block is kind of stuck now. Hmm. Well, if I'm going to do that, I should delete this block too with the sword. Okay. Now, I get the sword and delete that too. Hmm. Oh, and the sword was holding open a wall? Hmm. Or the sword wasn't holding it up, but, but and why can't I move this? Is it because I'm using the sword or what? Wait, maybe the rule isn't about being powered or not. Um, yeah, okay, no, no, no. Maybe the rule for these actually, you know, it's also interesting that the sword is enough to hold this down. Not only do the gloves power on the wires, but the sword does too. So I need to rethink the theming, which I didn't understand at first. Uh, the thing that powers on these is heaviness. So the sword is heavy, therefore it powers it up. The gloves are heavy, therefore it powers it up. And then for these, the idea was actually probably that if you're holding the gloves, then you can push these. Instead of the freaking rule I thought, which was, oh, they have to be unpowered. Okay, so that means for this step, I mean, I do destroy that. But now, and this is an issue, I'd like to get something on here. Specifically sword on here. I need to get the gloves. No, no, I do this, right? Because I, this is kind of a one-way step. I can't do that again after I, if, if I do that, I can't do it again. So, that's why I push this sword into here. Then I can push this all out. I, mean, I am losing a block here, unfortunately, but that's just how it goes. And yeah, now I'm back in the first room. And need to get to the top, I think. I don't even see a breakable wall here, though. Do I bridge the gap using these? Okay, yes, yeah, so the rule is really that if you're wearing the gloves, you can push this around. It just kind of... That implies it's a heavy object. But for some reason, it's even though it's a heavy object that needs gloves to push it around, it's not heavy enough to, to, to power those on. Very annoying. Anyways, it seems like I need to get stuff... Like, I, I'd like to get this blank box over, please. I think it needs it actually like holds open this door and then I bring everything out. Maybe I swap this uh sword with the gloves. Okay, this this swapping thing is pretty interesting as a mechanic. There we go. So now I grab the gloves and I use it at the bottom. I'll be able to push this out. Hmm, but I think I want to get both blocks down as well. So I do this and then bring the gloves box down too. And I really want to set this up where I can bring all this stuff out. Um Damn, I think this box is lost, is it? Well, let me just check first of all. Yes, there we go. So that lets me open up more. And if I was able to do that like here and connect it to the wall, I hope that's a thing. The thing that I'm not excited about is if I could, if I missed a way to bring this block out. Well, let's say I can do this and just push both boxes in here. So I would love to know if it's possible to connect this to this wall. It is. Except I need the sword to be able to... Okay, that should be easy. Bring all this out. Okay, so the sword will be the one there. And now I'm I'm the one wearing the gloves, so I can push this entire stack. I can use the sword to get rid of that. I'm holding an object, so I, I activate the pressure plate. That feels super intended. Uh, I'll also break this if I wanted to, but I, again, I, I feel like it's a bad idea to break the gloves. I can break this. I'm not... I, uh, I don't have the gloves right now, so I cannot push this. Hold on. Break that. Replace gloves. Okay. Wait, but then I, then I don't have a sword to... <laughs> Wait, no, okay. I, I come here with the sword. Then I use this pressure plate. I can also go back down into this lower area. Um, but I... Okay, I do this. I switch back to... Hmm. Hmm. I can break that, but that's not good. I need the gloves for over there. This feels like some weird thing where I... If I had a block there, I could use it. But that would need the gloves on it, though. I can't even get any object here. If you look at the ways I can push a block into there, they both lead to kind of a dead end. It's also interesting that there's a power block. Hold on, I can do that. But by holding the glove... Okay, so I guess I don't need an object there. Um, however, I can't do this with the sword. I need to have the gloves. But then I can't do anything, seemingly. It's very weird that a power target is on there, though. I could also do it such that, like, I push there... Now the thing is blocking the door, so I can just go through the door. Um, I might have tried a variation of that, but this seems better. So I can go here, and now now I'm able to make a complete loop, which is good. I can push this out. Okay. Where's the other block, though? There should... Hmm. Okay, that's actually opened up a lot, as long as there's a block in front, maybe. Hmm. Something else I don't know is, like, how do you... 
win. They're like I thought maybe it was a Sokoban thing where you have to have a block on all the targets, but a lot of these are really stuck. That doesn't look like it's a block is ever going in there. Maybe from here instead, I go here and then push it out from the other end. That would make sense, yeah. I think I've lost access to every other room at this point. I could go back down maybe, but I just don't want to think about that. Uh, I mean, the one thing I can do is because I, mean, I have the gloves so I can push this off the wall, but what's that? What's the point? I can also attempt to partially break through the walls like this. That might be the win condition, but... Yeah, I, I just... I currently don't have the technology to, like, keep it open. Okay, let's start from here. When I do that, I can switch it over. Okay, I was... Yeah, okay, okay. That feels way better. It feels like that's what I'm supposed to be actually be doing. Because now I can put the gloves there. And then grab the gloves from here, which is what I was... I, I, I imagined that, but didn't just see how to get there until now. So now... We have three... Hmm. And, I'm, and I have the gloves on, so I can do this and bring... Oh, okay. Hold on. I don't know if I need to put the sword back. Hmm. Well, so I have three blocks, which are all... I, I did not expect that. I was expecting it to end on the left, so... Hmm. Well, I don't think I need to destroy any blocks. We're not cramped anymore, so... Come on. I... Okay, hold on. Is this... I, I'm missing the other block, but... Push. Hey! We just escaped from Soko House. Very good, very good. That was a nice ending, like, because... Especially as there was no seeming goal by the beginning. Um, the only thing is that it was just a little unclear what the, what the rock block does. And, um... Yeah, just like there's not much to complain about with that game, though. Besides, um, okay, maybe the contrast, but but still, that was very good. It was like nicely checkpointed as well, in that you didn't need to perfectly keep that bottom left block. But yeah, very nice. Micro, micro. I can already see you're playing as a really small player character in the thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> what? The background grass tiles are now pushable blocks. Amazing. So. I don't know, like, it, there's a target hidden underneath all of these, a, a small target, so it's not, a, is, is it not a good idea to move them? It's, is it about moving the bot, the, the targets? No, the targets are fine. Hmm. Or maybe, oh shoot, what is, what is this looping behavior? Or is it looping? Because I'm seeing that this one, when I push this down, of course they all move, but this one also moves, like, inside this gray box. I'm, I'm thinking I need to push the gray box? Is that a possible thing? So, I mean, I could shove these mini blocks under the target. Well, it doesn't mean much because I only have three, but I... I don't know. Like, why can't I just, like, move this box? Is there a different trick to... Excuse me. I'm in the walls now. <laughs> nice brick texture, but I still can't move it, though. Uh, but yes, that's uh, highly suspicious. Um, but, like, these extra tiles in the corners are not meaningful, like... In any way, right? They're not functionally different from like this stuff. Maybe something different happens if I shove like this block into here. Wow, okay. What the? Okay, well, now of course it's copied that whole thing to all the bricks, but. Hmm. I can take it back out again. Still, I don't know the goal of the of anything at all. And then you can put it out and it's just like back to where we were before. What happens if all the tiles are uh, stuck in fake world? Okay, now all of a sudden I can freaking move these blocks. All right, there it is. Well, of course, I, I need to do some planning still so that I don't lose any of the blocks. Ugh. Hmm. So I'm, I'm going to reset and see if I need... I actually need all three blocks gone, though. I'm getting stuck to an edge is not necessarily the worst thing. Oh, so maybe the idea is that if there's any block on the right side, even a small block, then it can't move to the right because it needs to move an entire, effectively, five pixels. Hmm. Okay, so if I do that, can I do? Do I have an unblocked path? I do not. But it was. But it's surprisingly like. It kind of looks like I have a path to this if I just move this to a different spot. I should not fear getting things stuck to the edge. I think. Because I can take them out from the other side. Okay, push, push, push. All right, and now we're gonna do the same for the bottom. Oh shoot! Um, this block is uh. I think this block is messed up because it's... I cannot multi-push. Yeah, so even though I have a path for this one, I don't... I need to fix this. 
Maybe, um, maybe I'm supposed to go in myself and then change it while I'm inside. I need a good position for that, though. I'd, like, rather do it in here if I could. Like, I can go here, and I can put it back out in, in like, from here. Yes, that's how you get... Okay, okay, very cool. I'll continue moving this to the side. I... And maybe this, too? No, I, I don't like the positioning of this right now. I think I need to get some stuff out. So, how would I get access to this one? At least to push it off the wall, which is obviously the most important bit. I need to imagine... Maybe that, and then putting just another block in here. Okay, that does it very easily. Okay, and I still have access to all the blocks, and I should be able to push them out. Okay, that was a very cool trick. And such a weird way to explore that standard block pushing game level. So I've been cutting off the creator's name the whole time. Anyway, goodbye. Greater than symbol. Look, don't ask me what this game is, I don't know. Apparently you gotta figure out the rules for this one. So, I was able to activate that automatically by sitting in a dead end, I guess? Because it doesn't work here, it doesn't work here or here. This is a movable object. And did the entire walls just flash? I wonder what that's for. But if I'm in a dead end, I can go out. But I can't push it. I do not get the option to push that. It'll just automatically move like that. I, I can't go left from here. I guess, like, there's no... Uh, there's no space to teleport into. I could also go in this room. Let's try to push this down. Hmm, I feel like I should access, uh, try to access the top room if I could. No way to get in any of these spots right from where I am right now. Maybe I should move this away. Hmm, that didn't look good. I can go here, and that, no, I still can't actually push it. It's like the wind condition is over there. With three blocks around it, too. Huh. I wonder why this room is the thing. Is it possible to make a push? Like... No, no, well, I can't tell, but if it was... I don't know if it's possible to make a push through your teleport. Hmm. Thinking you do that and maybe come, try to come back to that room? If I move this down... Oh, I can push back in. Okay, wait a minute. You can do that, meaning that I can return back to the this room if I want to, and then I, I go down, and then push this out, which seems very intentional. Now, I can also do that and go to the right, which gives us access to this, and but that sticks it to the wall, which I don't like. Well, anyway, hmm. or is there any other thing we could do with that? We might be able to push an unstick from the wall, like push it all the way there. Then use the going in, go in the dead end, and then push that out, and we have access to this room, which is so weird because like this room is really out of the way. It doesn't even seem that it would be useful, but I guess this is what they're going for now. Um, I, I think I need to undo and, and push this block up or something. I, I don't know. Hmm. Like I want to go here, maybe bring that back though, and push that up, and then what? So weird to think that this this connected room is useful, or maybe just pushing it down was the point. Maybe it is because then you get access to this bottom section. Yeah. So in this lower area, we have two things that can be moved. It almost seems like the goal is to get this one off the wall or something. So I need to push this to the wall so I don't teleport, and then I can move it up. Then I can no. Uh, there's no place for this, huh? Maybe I switch it around so that this one goes up here instead. Hmm. Okay, and then I make it go down, and there we go. That was pretty telegraphed. You're getting close to this end room. Hmm. In here, do I need to bring this back down so I can go through this small gap? Hmm. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, that brings it down. Okay, okay. That, I think that does it. I can put this here, and then hell, head right into here. Hmm. So now, I need to go up. That's pretty much it, and... Well, now I'm stuck, aren't I? Oh, look at that! That's a cool move. Double move and taking advantage of the facing direction. And, there we go. And, win. There we go. Right arrow. What, space block pushing game? What's next? Time block pushing game? Alright, well, what is this? Press X to drop player from sh- <laughs> Uh, can I do more? No, I, don't, I can only pee out one other mini player. Excuse me. You can't even push anything. Can't drop here. Thanks. 
Wait, this means I can do it from the side, doesn't it? Yo, can, can, can I push down? Oh, I can switch grab? Okay, hold on. Uh, this is not the way to do it. If, if I was gonna do it this way. So... No, but that's gonna be stuck on the wall no matter what, isn't it? It's a switch here. Hmm... No, I'm undoing there. This is just a really cursed way to do the... To, to do the normal solution? No, not actually, because this, this will get stuck to the wall. Huh. My gosh. And now I can't push this- Oh no, it can go off- Wait, I didn't even realize at first that it could go off. Um, that means... Well, that should mean that I can sneak it in. Nope, come on. So, then, I can go here and push it upwards. Then jump, right? Because we have a jump ability? Hmm. That doesn't feel great. Because I don't know if multi push is going to be involved, or the lack of ability to multi push. Hmm. I know for sure that this block is definitely the one that ends there because this can't get off the wall, um, unless you drop inside a box. Which uh, uh, maybe we should try that out. No. Okay. <laughs> Probably not then. Wait. Hold on. It's, it's right here. Oh shoot, I was- I really wanted to use the multi-pushing stuff. Oh, from here, it's, you can actually do that and that. Um, not sure how much it's gonna help. Because we, what we really want is like... At this point, it'd be so good if we could just make it go down instead- Well, if that block was fixed, but... Like, is there a special position that I can only do from here? Like, from- from my starting position, anything special with it? I wanna try this. No, not like there. And then... Try to do something involving the multi push thing like that. And and, and try to get down gravity, which is the main thing. Hmm. Yes, wait, look at that. That that got down gravity by by pushing up on there. Oh, but can I can I retain it? Uh, hmm. I'd love to retain down gravity. I cannot multi push this entire thing, by the way. Right, what if here I can jump? And... Oh, I actually see something. So I spent a lot of time before on the previous idea. I'm going to cut. Um, of, of the two blocks being down below. But I noticed that here, if this was just moved here, and we did the same thing, I have a platform to use. I, I need to time it, though, because right now it's stuck. But okay, I'll, I'll find a way. I'm pretty sure I have to start, like, here, and then... This is really strange. Because I see potential this idea has. But, or maybe I go and do it, like, go here. Does that fix it? Ugh, it's, it's a place I haven't been to yet, but, like, I almost wish the situation was reversed. Or this block was, like, down here, but I thought that wouldn't work. Because there's, you don't have space, don't you? Yeah, we don't have space, and this is the same situation we've been in before. <sighs> so, from the start, you do this. You have to do this. Is it here that we then make the push? It might be, yeah, okay. Do that, and we got it, pretty much, I think. Because you do that and just... Well... Hmm. Or maybe just that? I can't believe we still don't have it. Like, just dropping won't be great. I think we want to do that first. Then I get a, then I get a really nice push in here, and there we go. Oh my gosh! Who... How do you come up with this idea? And then, like, the puzzle involved is actually really good and not obvious. There you go, space block pushing game. I think the video's long enough. That was a bunch of, well, there was some non-block pushing, whatever, but a lot of great cursed block pushing games in there. Mm, chess Battle Advance.